Hello, Mr. Aposo. <laughs> Hello, my precious, beautiful daughter. Mm. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm so happy. You're so happy? <laughs> my is good, yeah? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, you look beautiful. You Thank can start orange. I don't know if it looks orange on that side. Sometimes <laughs> videos yeah. turn them into other colors. It's not completely yellow. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that's something. It's orange and it's beautiful. Thank you very much. This is the girl that does my wife's makeup. So you better call her. Yeah, my precious daughter. Thank you very much. Talk to me, baby. You also look very dapper. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, mm -hmm. as young people especially, mm -hmm. we grapple with a lot when it comes to relationships and yeah. marriages. Yeah. So now, um, in light of everything that happens in today's world, mm -hmm. the, the the abuse in marriage, people killing their wives and husbands, just it's just really crazy. Mm -hmm. There's a question that has been flying across the internet for years on end, mm -hmm. and today we just want to get the clarity of it all. Is marriage necessary? After all. <laughs> <laughs> And then number two, is it an achievement? Because it's like people are going to the end of the world for something mm -hmm. that is setting them back, is killing them, it's costing you your life. As in what could be more important than, you know, your life? Mm -hmm. So just talk to us, please. Okay. Yeah, oh, us. wow, what a question. Mm -hmm. Is marriage necessary? Mm -hmm. Is it an achievement? Mm -hmm. Beautiful question. Yeah, if I forget any bit, just... Yes. Just to remind me, mm -hmm. marriage is necessary <laughs> if you know what it means. Mm -hmm. Your problem is that you got into something whose meaning you don't even know. Yeah, you don't know the word marry. What does it mean? That word itself, marry, what does it mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to get the power out of anything, please first get its meaning. Having got its meaning, study what it's there for. It's purpose its function what does it do if you find out that a phone has certain specifications that please you then the phone is necessary <laughs> do you see yes so marriage is not necessary to a person who is ignorant of what it means mm -hmm. and its function in fact you enter in and destroy it after destroying it because of your ignorance and after destroying it because of your incompetence you start saying it's not necessary yeah it's not a must mm -hmm. another thing you watch the wrong people people who are failing in marriage mm -hmm. then they become your example i don't think that a wise person should act like that mm -hmm. that you study a person who has failed and then you predicate your judgment on a failed project mm -hmm. why don't you study a person who has succeeded mm -hmm. and predicate your judgment on a successful right. project so that if you choose to ever get into such a project, mm -hmm. you get in with information that's useful and helpful. Mm -hmm. If you ever choose not to, then it's out of choice. You maybe just don't want to. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus spoke in the Bible and said, marriage is for a certain set of people. Mm -hmm. A man who has sexual desire towards a woman mm -hmm. ought to get married. Paul said that in 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Mm -hmm. Jesus also said the same thing. If you have a desire towards a woman, mm -hmm. get married. The Bible says there are people who are, um, who are made eunuchs by people who are castrated. They cannot function sexually. Jesus said such people should not get married. Mm -hmm. He also said there are those who made themselves eunuchs mm -hmm. for the sake of the gospel. Like you could say the Catholic Fathers, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. They decide, because I want to preach, I don't want to get married. I want to just focus and concentrate on the gospel. Like Paul. Paul was married but divorced. And just concentrated on preaching the word of God. Such people should not marry. Then he says there are those who are born eunuchs. Mm -hmm. In other words, they were born without sexual desire or attraction towards the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. The Bible did not say look for your own to like. Mm -hmm. The Bible said just remain like that, mm -hmm. not marry. Mm -hmm. But if you have sexual desires towards the opposite sex, mm -hmm. if you have liking for, desire for, love for, then marriage is good for you. Mm -hmm. Now, if you just decide out of your own free will mm -hmm. that you don't want to get in, mm -hmm. please stay away, but don't slander it. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. because it's good for us who are enjoying it. Mm -hmm. You see, okay. the fact that you've stayed away from marriage mm -hmm. by choice mm -hmm. is no reason or license for you mm -hmm. to say bad things about it. It's of no use to you because you are not part of the system. Yes. And why are you bothered about a thing you are not part of? Mm -hmm. So let's learn first. The Bible says, a man leaves a father and mother and cleaves to his wife and the two become one flesh. The man chose to love a woman mm -hmm. and the woman chose to love the man. Mm -hmm. For the two, the best thing that they can ever do is get married. Mm -hmm. That's what the book of Genesis 2 18 says, it's not good for a man to be alone. Mm -hmm. When God created the heavens and the earth, mm -hmm. he created Adam. Mm -hmm. Then he looked at Adam and said, no, it's not good for you to stay without a wife. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make one for you. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. And when Adam saw Eve come, mm -hmm. he said, oh my goodness, this is flesh of my flesh, bones of my bones. I'm going to call her woman because she's going to be the mother of all living, not just human beings. Mm -hmm. Mother of all living. Mm -hmm. So to have dominion over the earth, mm -hmm. a man needs a woman. Once the two are together, the Bible says now it's good. And the word good there is tov, and it means, T-O-B, it means it's pleasurable, it's agreeable, mm -hmm. it is rich, mm -hmm. you see, yes. it is highly valuable, mm -hmm. which is why somebody did research in the U.S., I don't have the specification of the research, mm -hmm. but they came up with a finding mm -hmm. that the married people in the United States mm -hmm. were much more prosperous and happier mm -hmm. than their unmarried counterparts. Mm -hmm. They were much more fulfilled with life. Mm -hmm. Even though there's divorce, they still found out that those who remained in marriage were happier, lived longer, mm -hmm. they were much more fulfilled and much more financially successful mm -hmm. than their unmarried counterparts. Mm -hmm. Of course, media sometimes doesn't want to talk about some things like that. So that's not bad news. <laughs> that's good news. Mm -hmm. If you know what marriage is, if you've been trained, if you know its purpose, and if you like it and you want it, mm -hmm. it's a necessary good, not mm -hmm. a necessary evil. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. That's mm -hmm. such a comprehensive answer. Mm -hmm. So is it an achievement? Like for those ones who have wanted to get married mm -hmm. and then they'll always, you know, like single people always mm -hmm. complaining that why do married people force us to get into marriage mm -hmm. and yet they themselves are quote unquote suffering in there and mm -hmm. you've already explained that. Yeah. So is it an achievement or it's just a choice people make just for mm -hmm. the gratification? First, no one should ever force you to get married. It is your choice. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible says you marry a person of your own choice. Mm -hmm. So first, it's your choice to get married. Mm -hmm. There should not, there should never be any form of pressure. That now you are twenty six, mm -hmm. get married. Now you are this age. That is a retrogressive and backward. Mm -hmm. It is your choice with that person that you love to get married. Mm -hmm. So I think that is clear. Mm -hmm. So any married person trying to pressure or influence coerce. anyone else, coerce to get married, mm -hmm. is practicing um, domestic witchcraft. Yeah, that is manipulation. Mm. Manipulation is witchcraft. Mm. Okay. Marriage is not an achievement. Mm. Because an achievement is a job description. Marriage is the end of it. It's the end. It's not a means to an end. It is an arrival. Mm. It is a state of being. It's mm -hmm. like, it's not an achievement for me to be male. Mm. Now there is even an achievement for you to be female. Mm. It is who you are. It's your design. Mm. So marriage is not an achievement. It's a design. Mm. It's a divine design. Wow. And within that design, you can achieve things together. Things together. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. And you can achieve beautiful things together. Yeah. Giving birth is not an achievement. It's also a design. Mm. You are designed to be fruitful. Mm. Okay? Mm. Uh, we talk a lot with you about fruitful trees. Mm. A mango producing a fruit is not an achievement. Mm. It was made to be like that. It is fruitfulness. Mm. Okay, yes. it is called a higher level of glory. Mm. Okay, yeah. it's called manifestation of glory, just mm. like the way the Bible says a woman's hair is her glory. Mm. Not only physically, it doesn't matter the size, yours is short, it looks extremely beautiful. Mm. Mm. Others yeah. have long hair and it looks extremely it's beautiful. Really there are women who've decided to cut all of it, mm. but the, the hair is still there, mm. somewhere inside their, their skull, mm. somewhere. Yeah? Under their skin, still hair, <laughs> and okay, it's beautiful. It good, yeah. So it, when it comes to fashion, then there's no problem. Mm. But your hair is your glory; it's your covering. It's not an achievement. Mm. 
with your glory. Your beauty is not an achievement. Mm. Your beauty is called election of grace. Mm. God has given you grace to look a certain way. Mm. God has given me grace to talk a certain way and to act a certain way. Those are not achievements. Mm. But if I make money, that's an achievement. Mm. If I build a house, that's an achievement. Mm. If my wife and I agree to do agriculture, that's an achievement. Mm. Winning souls is not an achievement. It is love. Getting people to know the Lord is love. Mm. Uh, raising a beautiful family is not an achievement. Mm. Yeah? Mm. It's a manifestation of love. Because we are not being measured based on how successful we are at home. Mm. There's no standard of success at home. Mm. For you to have an achievement, there must be a standard that measures it. Mm. A uniform standard of measurement. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. So, um, if we decide that marriage is an achievement, mm. then those who don't want it will have failure. Mm. Those who are not designed yeah. for it will also have failure. Mm -hmm. If you say getting a baby is an achievement, then those who don't want to have children are failure. Mm. And those who are not able to, mm. by virtue of whatever, mm. some malformation or whatever, mm. would be considered as failure. Mm. So that people must not have pressure, mm. which comes when you have to achieve this marriage goal. Yes. Yes. It can be a goal, mm. but it should not be an achievement. Mm. Yeah. And my marriage mm -hmm. should not be seen mm. as being better than another person's mm. marriage. Just like I'm not more male than you, male person, mm -hmm. neither should you appear to be more female. Because mm -hmm. it's a design. We're designed like all the other people. Mm -hmm. And I'm also designed like all the other males. Mm -hmm. So being male is not an achievement. Mm -hmm. And I cannot be more male than anyone else. Mm -hmm. Yet I can work on my manhood. Mm -hmm. The characteristic traits and the quality mm -hmm. of a man who provides godly leadership mm -hmm. to his family. That's called manhood. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's not the car you drive and the house you mm -hmm. live in. Yeah. What? Huh. I don't think we can <laughs> dilute it from uh, there. That's amazing. In fact, we're going to do another video where you just talk to us yeah. about now that the last statement you've said yeah. about how family and all that is not mm -hmm. an achievement. Mm -hmm. How we should never compare marriages, we should compare mm -hmm. maybe like wives, husbands, children. Mm -hmm. You know those crazy things that yeah. especially African parents have yeah. done for a very long time. Yeah. I think we'll dedicate this to another video because mm -hmm. we really, really need to to talk about these issues yes. and get wisdom. Thank you so much. That's amazing. I hope you watched this and the previous videos. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.